At the beginning of Defender of the Crown, you'll be selecting the character you wish to be. Jeffrey Longsword is a great swordsman, but falls short in other areas. Don't choose him as a character, but keep him in mind when picking a jousting opponent. You may be tempted to choose Wolfric the Wild because of his excellent jousting skills. Remember, however, that he's not much of a leader or swordsman. Pass over Wolfric the Wild for a better all-round character. Cedric of Rotherwood, on the other hand, is gifted in the areas Wolfric is not. He has considerable talents, but not in the right combination. The man who can best lead you to the crown is Wilfred of Ivanhoe, who isn't strong in any one skill, but can probably handle any situation you encounter. Before beginning your quest for power, play a few practice rounds to develop your skills. When doing this, use a character strong in the area you're working on. For example, be Wolfric the Wild to improve your jousting. Choose Jeffrey Longsword to practice sword fighting. Read the map thoroughly to find out who owns each territory. Pay special attention to their strengths and weaknesses. You can increase your fame throughout the kingdom by winning the tournament. Passing your turn will earn you extra money, but Normans may move against you. Make sure you plan ahead. It costs five gold pieces to call a tournament. If you can't afford this, the computer will let you know. It's important to make the best possible decisions. Before beginning a tournament, be sure you can afford to part with a piece of land if you lose. Don't leave yourself open to attack, and don't start challenging your friends for land. They may not be your friends much longer. To be a champion jouster, aim your lance at the bottom part of your opponent's shield. Don't worry about defending yourself, since there are no real defense techniques for this. When jousting, you want to hit your opponent, but not his horse. That mistake will cause you to be disgraced and barred from future tournaments. At the beginning, it's good to go ahead and claim as much land as possible. It raises your income and protects your castle from attack. When your mace is at this point, press the A button for maximum impact. If you're able to rescue the beautiful maiden Rosalind, you'll unite the two kingdoms. You need to have at least one section of territory besides the land that holds your castle. You can wager your extra property at the tournament. With luck and skill, you'll win your enemy's land. You can gain more territory around your castle, or you can claim lands that separate you from choice properties. When buying an army, spend your money on catapults and soldiers. Castles and knights aren't much help and will probably just slow you down. Get at least three catapults. There are two ways to attack a castle. A siege means you're trying to take it over completely. A raid means sending a soldier into the castle to steal its gold. Check the load ammunition screen before starting a siege. You may discover that no one's guarding the enemy fort. Fire off your ammunition and the castle will be yours. Sometimes, for no apparent reason, the computer will plot against you. The results can be really awful. Select the read map option and point the arrow at your castle. This will let you see your status screen and keep you informed about the money you've collected and what size army you've assembled. Before raiding a castle, stop by Sherwood Forest and ask Robin Hood to help you. 
He'll only agree to do it three times, but his help is valuable. Here's a quick guide to better sword fighting. Get close to your enemy, stab him once, and take a step back. Keep doing this and he'll get the point. Remember, you can find out who the worst swordsman is by reading the map. Keep a watch on the Saxons. They are your allies, but you need to make sure they don't control too much territory. If they do, you'll live to regret it. If your castle is attacked, defend it with a crossbow. Have a lot of soldiers ready so your life meter will show full strength. Move from left to right. With Robin's help, you're ready to attack a castle. Begin your siege by catapulting boulders into the castle wall. Next, shoot some diseases into the castle. Finally, use Greek fire to finish the job. The best course of action here is to have as many catapults as possible and use the bombard command. Whenever you conquer a castle, hire more soldiers to protect it. Once more the enemy is plotted against you. This time it will cost you half your gold. To get a head start on your empire, go after the lord who has the most territory. When you seize his castle, you'll gain control of all his properties. You need a healthy supply of soldiers in your castle and your army before you fight for your last castle. Catapults are important too. When you own most of the territories, challenge the other lords to tournaments. Beating them will give you even more land. The enemy has been crushed. The crown is yours. So ends the quest for the crown. Follow these game tips and the kingdom will be yours.